Hi guys, Tim from Topper here again with the Wow Water uh, High Pressure System. Uh, we're getting wet right now. Uh, <laughs> anyway, this is a setup here uh, which we can actually draw water from the Wow RO system, either the Wow 50 or the 180 with a multiple of tanks connected. And we'll show an image of that later. Um, and we are drawn, we are tapped into the FA1 port through a isolation valve going into an Aquatech DDP 5800. It's a delivery pump. And that's drawing water from the system. Then under normal operation, the water's pushing. And then the, the pump is also drawing water and it's forcing the water into a captive air tank. Now, why would I do that? This here is pumping the tank pressure up to a good 60 to 100 pounds. So for those long distant runs with a one inch pipe, the amount of stored water in here will flood that pipe rather quickly. And if on the other end you have an outlet like an ice maker, I know of one installation in particular that's dispensing uh, small ice cubes. And that's because the diameter of the pipe is so large and the distance is so, the run is so long that when the ice maker commands water, there isn't enough of a pressure drop along that long distance line to turn the CPU back on to push the water in to fill the ice cube tray. So under these conditions, a different scenario has to be installed. Now I originally set this up for restaurant use. Um, we have a uh, sample behind Gary, don't turn around, it's kind of janky. We've got 15 tanks set up on a rack uh, with a WOW RO and a pump and a tank that's delivering 10 gallons per minute. So right now, I have set up a smaller captive air tank, the DDP 5800, and it's running right now only because I have not turned the system on. So here's my isolation valve. I'm going to now, there was enough water in the system here to populate this tank here. Okay, so now the pump is quieted down, it's drawing water, and it's pushing water into the tank. Now, here's the actual setup. So coming off of, off of the FA1 ball valve, going into the inlet of the pump, through a check valve one way, okay, and it's pushing water in via the pump into the store and into the storage bladder. The outlet is going to my whatever it is that I'm, I'm going to be uh, uh, servicing. Okay. Now the 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 you don't need a very large storage tank for this, but here is the outlet, and um, this is the other end. It's through here, and I'm hooked up to a meter. And of course, this. When I open this faucet up, this pressure here is gonna peg above two gallon per minute flow rate. So I'm just gonna shoot this across the room here. And uh, let's make sure that, all right. So now the volume that is stored in here has, has reached to a point to where the pump is turned off and the wow water CPU valve is turned back to on, witnessed by the system is now going into water makeup. So the amount of water that it drew off has filled the tank, the pump is turned off, and the CPU valve is now going back into water makeup to replenish the inventory that this drew out of. So this is ready to load. I'm gonna go into a demonstration this week and solve someone's problem. All right, watch this. Okay. Now, Gary, I want you to go up here to the meter, okay? I'm gonna open it fully, way above. Okay, check it out. Holy moly. Yep. <laughs> um, it's a lot of pressure. So rest assured, gentlemen, your customer's gonna have full ice cubes. <laughs> okay, that's it. Until next time, thank you.